Okay, hello, I am one. This is a short tutorial uh, on something you're going to be practicing today in uh, your practice part of the classwork, and that is on this idea of function notation. So you're going to see that term, and I'm going to explain it. And uh, the first thing uh, I'll say, and I'll probably repeat this over and over again, is that this is no different than any math you've done before. It's just a different way of looking at it and a different uh, different um, kind of words being used, but the, the math is just the same. So I'm going to show you a comparison of what you already know and are more used to. And then this, uh, what will be new for some of you, but maybe not all of you, this way of um, showing the input and output of a function using function notation. So let's start with what we already know. If you take this function y equals x squared plus 3, uh, for those of you who recognize this, this will be a parabola. Uh, but if we wanted to graph it and figure out the shape, typically what we would do is make a, an input-output table. Whatever we put in for x, we get something out for y. So we might put in negative 3 for x and get 12 out. You can confirm the math for yourself. You could put negative 2 in and get 7. You could put negative 1 and get 4. 0 will give you 3. 1 gives you 4. 2 gives you 7. And 3 gives you 12. And now these, of course, are a series of coordinates. You could graph those coordinates and then you would see the pattern. Okay, so that's the traditional way we've learned it. Now I want to show you function notation. And again, function notation is no different uh, way of, um, well, it's a different way of writing the same thing that you already know. So the way we would write this function in function notation, instead of y equals x squared plus 3, we would write f of x equals x squared plus 3 where you heard me say f of x, this is red f of x. And literally what it means is the value of the function, so the value is the output, that's how, uh, where the function is um, in the y coordinate, so the value when x is whatever the input happens to be. So uh, I'm going to show you how it works mathematically. So let's say we wanted to take this input right there um, of negative 3. So when we did it this way, we would say y equals negative 3 squared plus 3, y equals 9 plus 3, y equals 12. So the way we show that with function notation is we say the value of the function when x is negative 3 and then we show that negative 3 by substituting it in for x, just like we did. So hopefully you'll see that the what we have over here and what we have over here is no different. It's the exact same math. It's just um, here we have a y and here we have an f of negative 3, and those kind of mean the same thing. So if we're constructing our input-output table, we would have x and f of x instead of y. And here we would just say negative 3 and 12, and we would get the same thing. And then we might want to say, like, what is f of 0? Well, well, then we substitute 0, and we get 0, 3. So hopefully what you see is the math is exactly the same, the way of writing it is different, and you'll get used to this as you practice it today.